The Crimson Pattern creeps up Hel uh, Hela and binds her entire body like burning shackles, making it impossible for her to break free. And the young girl who calls herself S019 stares intently into your eyes at the same time, in the same spot. For a moment, you have grabbed hold of some strong power, like a glimpse of some insane madness. Hela joins the team. Oh, I forced her to join the team. Heke joins the team. Who the hell is Heke? That's her. That's her. Who's Heke? You come back to your senses when you turn back again. The door on Hella's cell is already broken. She collapses on the floor in agony. Bastard! I'll kill you as soon as I get the chance. She can't. As 019 looks at you, the shadow next to her is now clear in your eyes. This is the real form of the horrible nightmare which can no longer terrify you. Any sinners branded with the shackles are at your disposal. So am I not a sinner then? From from the looks of it, it seems that everyone else, for the guards and everyone, they're normal people, but like maybe superhuman at the best. Maybe they have been upgraded through tech and biotech. I may have maybe their bodies have been upgraded and their skills, and you know, they're trained and everything. But the sinners are people who have powers. Um, and why do I have powers then? Because if I have powers, then. I'm also a sinner, then why am I here? Maybe my power is transferable, then when again, why was I unconscious and my memory is gone? But as she speaks, she turns her gaze towards the other side of the corridor. Rioters are here, the com uh, commotion here draws their attention. They are now shoot shouting and rushing over. You are now an actual chief. Please give me orders. From now on, I only follow your orders. Clear them. Copy that. As the enemy attacks, the chief must rely on the power of the sinners. Okay. The senses and bodies of the shackled sinners are at your disposal. Chief, you may use us to detect things on the battlefield to help you defeat the enemy. Okay. Uh, you can detect the number of regular enemies within range through the shackles. Your sand is critical for maintaining your shackles at the expense of sustaining sand damage. Your shackles can destroy any enemy that approaches you. Uh, by using Shackles Link, you can immediately relocate a sinner to any time by issuing a dispatch order. That is very confusing. Enemy evasion position will be specially marked for you on the battlefield. Tap on the corresponding position to observe the enemy's attack route. Okay, can I move her here? Nope, I can't. Oh, well, this is a problem. Come on! Full speed ahead! Take out that guy and we'll be free! Chief, you're the only one who must not let any enemies approach you. Order Hella to guard you from the front. She will surely obey. You. This is a great opportunity. Chief, please use the shackles to unite the sinners in battle. We shall all obey your orders. Okay. Okay, do this. Uh, each sinner has different block limit. Within, When the number of enemies attack a sinner exceed the block limit, the excess enemies will directly break through the defense lines. Okay, that's doable. Huh, this is interesting. Can I see the energy will slowly accumulate over time. When it becomes full, the sinner will release their ultimate under your order. So what has reduced so far? I think my cross thingy has reduced on the top one, the four out of five. And we have also gone down to four instead of five. The 30 is still there. Is that full? Hella has accumulated enough energy for you to sense her power attributes. Okay, tap on it. Uh, tap here to view the Skinner's uh, Skinner Sinner skill. To a pulp. Okay, uh, Street Justice Hella cost 28. I have 30. Hella randomly swings her weapon with all her might. I can't move this up. I guess it's forcing me to use it instead of, you know, just learning it. So did she use it? I. I can't even tell, honestly. I think she is using it. I think that's her using it, apparently. Who is this? Who is this? I have no clue. Whatever, we'll see. But what is her, like, handle limit? Because it looks like her handle limit should be getting weak soon. Alright. Why is the shadow thing now attacking from a distance? I thought that she was a melee fighter with all the shadow thing bullshit. Oh boy, this is a problem. I am dead, I think. 
Oh, that was victory apparently. Whenever they unleash the strange power, the shackles in your hand will throb as if some kind of frantic power is burning. Your vision gradually blurs and your consciousness returns to the dream again. In this dream, you are whispering to someone. Come here, Hecate. This isn't over yet. We agreed. After a brief silence, someone reaches out to you. That person with strong emotions tries to come closer to you. I'm guessing that is original us. And this person that's putting her hand out is the shadow person, S00, whatever her name is. Her real name is Hecate, which we did read before as well. You try to take that hand, but the dream world starts to shatter and you're slowly being pushed out of it. Can they not attack us while we are, like, unconscious? It's over. What is that, a book? You, hurt? Uh, you shake your head, but your mind is still very confused. You don't know if those images happen in reality. Could they be memories you lost? Have you met before? No, we haven't. But I know your name. Your name is an S019. It's Hecate. I don't need that name anymore. But if that's what you want, then call me by that name, Chief. It's time to go. Adjutant Nightingale is waiting for you. If she's even alive. I'm guessing she is because the game probably won't kill her since she's designed. Great. You did it. You regained your power. The most important thing is that you're alive. I didn't expect you would survive either, Adjutant. How awesome. Let's end this riot together. I believe Chief can do it. Sure. She puts on an innocent, harmless face as she have never threatened you in her life. Only two sinners left. Did the rest of them manage to escape? Well, having you here is all that matters. Let's leave the rest to the guards and chase after the woman. Shouldn't we leave and block this prison or something? The woman who was forced you to wake up and disguised herself as you. This riot is just a diversion. This won't be her real agenda. We've got the coordinates, Chief. Please, come with me. Watch out. The enemy is here. The sound of liquid flowing comes from the surrounding walls and under the ground you watch several monsters taking shape slowly before your eyes. This is a monster she created. Looks like we're very close to the target. Let's clear this obstacle first. This creature is highly infectious. But as long as you don't let it go near you, it won't pose any threat. Get ready to fight. I'll fight with you all. After meeting with the Nightingale, the chief again- Yeah, for fuck's sake. I think I should move her down here. Can I not move her? I was thinking I could move her and then like, do this. I guess I can't. Whatever. That's a big one! What is that glowing tumor on its body? Ugh, it's so gross! Let me go back! The Telepidapsal is no match for that! They're elite mutants. Their special contamination core gives them immense strength. But it's also their Achilles heel. Once their contamination core is broken, they will be rendered weak and defenseless. Leave it to me. My Nightmare Ultimate can deal core damage. As long as I strike the core, it will be broken in one shot. Chief, please seize the opportunity to give me an attack order. Okay, so before their cores are broken, the elite mutants will possess strong attack. Defense power and making it hard for Hela to defend against them. So we're gonna move her. At critical moment, the center can be relocated to safety to avoid full uh, brunt. When their ultimate is ready, you can see the opportunity to counter attack versus the tide. Alright. Yeah, that thing does look strong. Alright, Hela, do it. I guess. Okay, she can, she can block it. Alright, we'll see. Nightmare in position. Chief, please give the order. Let's do it. Hella's ultimate can deal one point of core damage to the enemy, aim and break the target with the shot. There we go. And her core is broken, and now the we can just destroy her. Mode. Any damage it receives will be greatly increased. It is time for Hella to release her ultimate and fire at will. Okay, then I'll just press this. Operation is unavailable. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? 
Do I press this? What do I press? Oh, am I not supposed to smash that? Okay, I'm not. Never mind. I thought I was supposed to like tap that or something, but apparently not. Her, oh, I was about to say her ultimate is not charging, but yeah, she doesn't have an ultimate. She's a normal person. 